I think you guys are gonna be quite impressed with little old me. I tuned my guitar, and I put on pants. I can tell you're impressed. So listen, um, these are mis <laughs> mistakes left in popular songs. All right, so let's start with Paranoid by Black Sab. Apparently there's a weird guitar note in a part of the song. I never heard this before. Let's listen to this together. Oh, that? It, it was like a, huh? Okay, it sounded kind of sounded like a, a little pull off of a string, like, huh? <laughs> that was the most unsure sounding guitar mess up ever. Eh. So, uh, Tony Iommi, what do you think of the song so far? Eh. <laughs> what note is that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-replicate it. <laughs> okay, so that's the mess up note right there. Like, did he literally go... So bizarre. You know what, that could have been like a digital, it almost sounds like a digital artifact, like a I have a hard time believing that Tony Iommi would go <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. So do I believe this was an actual guitar mistake? You can make your own decisions. Should I have put pants on? All right, so that was a mistake. But I'll tell you what wasn't a mistake. Downloading Marvel Strike Force. Who are the sponsors of today's video? Marvel Strike Force is the game that will allow you to fulfill your lifelong dream of assembling your own team of superheroes, upgrading and training them to become your own little death squad. And if you're a new player, you can unlock up to 17 characters within your first 30 days. We're talking iconic superheroes like Spider-Man, Thor, Captain America, and the one I'm currently trying to get, Deadpool. They've even got all of the classics that'll get your nostalgic senses tingling. I'm talking guys like Wolverine and my personal favorite, the Hulk. Like, check out this, I'm battling Iron Man right now. So you can be all like, come here, you little cutie. <laughs> but I love the cinematic, like, look at the cinematic angles and stuff. Heck, you don't even have to be a Marvel fan. If you like fun comic booky RPG fighting tactics, there's something to be had for you in here. Immerse yourself in the Marvel Universe by scanning my QR code or by following the link in the description. Use promo code CARDS to enjoy this nifty little bonus pack of 100 Gambit Shards, 500 Power Cores, and 5 Premium Orbs. And this month, get ready for some big character giveaways, like the brand new Hive Team. Silver Surfer and Ghost Spider are getting symbiote versions. Get maximal symbiote synergy by pairing them with other symbiotes like Venom and Carnage. So go play it! Thank you Marvel Strike Force for sponsoring. All right, now apparently there's a flubbed bass note in Burnin' For You by Blue Oyster Cult. Let's listen to it, ah! Home isn't pretty. No oh, I heard it. The bass went like... <laughs> that was definitely a mistake, that one. There it is right there. The bass player just has like a, like a little salad stroke. Okay, where's my bass? All right, so what's the bass line there? So it's supposed to be like But the bass player has a little salad stroke and it's more like this That's the note right there It's like he pre pressed on like the fret bar instead of in between the fret Because you can hear that kind of buzz sound Basis freaking useless they should have just programmed bass. I mean, that's what I do Could they do that in the 70s? Well, it's a shame they couldn't. Oh, but that's not the only bass mistake. Oh, 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 no! In the song Spanish Harlem Incident by The Birds, apparently there's another bass part that is absolutely f***ed. I've been wondering all about me ever since I... <laughs> wow! I think the bass has literally died there and they had to patch it back in. All about me. It was just like And then it went back into the song like the bass has literally had a stroke So the bass is supposed to be going But Mr. Strokey McGee here instead opted for more of this approach Here let me serenade ya I've heard better sounds come out Well I've heard similar sounds come out of my ass <laughs> Now this next one, I'm sure almost everyone here knows about. In the very intro to Good Riddance by Green Day, Billy Joe Armstrong messes up the intro riff twice and says F Fuck. 
<laughs> okay, first of all, I don't know what's sadder, the fact that he messed up the easiest guitar riff ever, or that they actually left it in the song. Is Billy Joe Arm Weak really that pathetic at guitar? I, I gotta play the riff. By the way, the fact that I'm wearing pants, I think my channel's reached the turning point. Okay, so he goes like, twice. Maybe they should have just left it like that. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. I mean, he's not even good at swearing, really. It sounded more like he said, He has but he lacks the Uh-oh, we've got a guitar mistake in Led Zeppelin, the rain song. Let's check it out. I'm not very familiar with this song, but let's take a sexy little listen. <laughs> Was it that? <laughs> it's like he just blatantly plays an open note. <laughs> very, very similar to uh, Tony Iommi's. Eh. So Tony Iommi's like, eh. and then Jimmy Page is like. <laughs> Alright, but, but listen, we cannot let this rest without figuring out what actually happened. Alright, let me just refresh here. The note goes like... <laughs> yep. Okay, that's the note right there. So it's like... Like, how does that even happen? I don't know if that's exactly how he plays it, but... It... Like, Jimothy Page, come on! But I don't know how that note ended up in there. Maybe it was someone on a different guitar, like, testing it and like, oh, that was on. And they couldn't just cut it out because, again, this is the 70s. Like, maybe no one will notice the <laughs> in the middle of the song. <laughs> well, we noticed. Right now, this next one is a very famous, not mistake, but something that was put in a song that wasn't supposed to be there. This is Creep by Radiohead. Now, I don't know if this is 100% true, but apparently Tom York hated the direction that Creep was going. It was supposed to be a very mellow, chill song, and he hated that. So in recording, he added some heavy guitar parts to sabotage the song. Everyone knows the part leading into the chorus when the guitars just go... And then he kicks into the heavy guitars for the chorus. Apparently it was never supposed to be like that, but he threw them in there and they loved it so much that they left it in the song. And now that's just iconic. I'm curious to know if the song would have been as big a hit if they were like, Tom, stop. Oh good. The next one's Coldplay. All right, there's a Coldplay song called Us Against the World. Never heard it, but apparently there's a guitar mess up in the first 22 seconds of the song. But I will skip to that part because I don't want to subject you guys to a Coldplay song. Okay, yeah, I heard it. It was not a huge mistake at all. He wanted dun -dun -dun -dun. Instead he went dun -dun -dun -dun. He just kind of messes up the transition a little bit. A non-guitarist would never even notice that. So he wants to go... That's what he wants to play, but instead he goes... Okay, but okay. Coldplay, you're a modern day band. You see this button right here, Coldplay? Literally all you had to do was take the guitarist's crappy guitar take and go... Cookies. One click of the delete button and it's gone forever! This is why we don't hear mistakes in songs anymore because the delete button erases your mistakes from history. You're a perfect guitarist. But again, back in the 70s, there was no delete button. There was only three hours of work to cut the part out. But you know, there's something I like about that. The fact that what you lay down is what stays. But I gotta tell you, man, I don't think I could do it. Honestly, when I'm recording a solo, I get keyboard burn from pressing delete so fast. <laughs> I literally do hundreds of takes before I'm happy with it. But these 60s and 70s guys, they're just like, eh, whatever happens, happens who cares if we messed up they're probably on so much drugs anyways they probably didn't even care All right now does this solo mean anything to you <laughs> yep master of puppets by metallica this is probably the best example of a guitar mistake that actually ended up sounding sick so the one part of the solo goes like this 
Then this part here, I'll play it slower. That slide up here was never supposed to be there. What he accidentally did was play this note and accidentally pull the string off the neck, giving it a weird bendy sound. So I assume he wanted to do something like this. But instead he got this. I can't even play, I don't know how that even happens. I'll bet he has never played it the same since. And you can really hear it when you cut the music out. You hear that? It's like. That my friends is what we call a functional f up. And this next one is actually kind of similar. It's my old pals in Dragon Force. At the very end of Through the Fire and Flames, there's a guitar mess up that was not supposed to be there, but it ended up sounding so cool, they left it in. Let's take a listen to it first, right at the end here. If we go back to this part. So what Herman Lee did there was do a whammy pull up. But right at the top, the string broke, causing the bow. The end of that song is iconic because of that. I always assumed it was just a, a synth part that did the bow. But no, it was literally the string breaking at the top of the whammy pull, which is not surprising because Herman Lee is pretty aggressive with his uh, whammying. I cringe every time he does it, but like. <laughs> He does that a lot, he just like <laughs> So it's not surprising that he's gonna break some strings and some guitars every now and then. But I'll tell you, that was a brilliant mistake. Herman Lee is a brilliant man. Right, you know what, let's end, you know what? Let's end it with Aerosmith in the song Dream On. Now this one, I actually noticed, and I'm surprised no one else has mentioned it, but in the second verse, Joe Perry actually misses a guitar note, and it's actually super noticeable. It's a little more than just a or a Let's take a listen. You hear that? The guitar was just like Man, I did not intend for this video to have so much and Seriously, that is a very obvious mistake. Not a huge one. But am I the only one that has heard that? It's like he accidentally mutes the note right after he plays it. I'll play it. So we all know the iconic riff. Which is actually quite hard to play, so it's not surprising that he messed one of the notes up, but I'm gonna try to replicate what he did. Like, I don't feel like he would do that intentionally. You know what? Might have been drugs. Oh yeah, and in case you guys were wondering how I learned this song, from my Aerosmith tab book! <laughs> but I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think these mess ups were re Re-record worthy? Let me know what you guys think about these mistakes or if you have any others that I have, have not kept have possible, that I left out. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next video. You know it's true.